Hey everybody, welcome back to Big Red EDC. Been a little while again since I've had a Tuya knife on the channel, but very, very excited to have this one uh, for a couple of reasons. One being the fact that it is designed by Dave Warren, Mr. Tuya knife himself. If you guys have ever had the opportunity to talk to Dave, fantastic, fantastic guy. Always, always enjoy talking to him at the shows and such. And the other reason this is pretty cool is because Dave has just opened Warren Blades, a storefront in Corbin, Kentucky. Um, very, very happy for Dave that he was able to make that happen. So, Tui has been selling online for a long time, but now he's got a storefront. You can actually go in, you know, check out these Tui knives because, trust me, they carry a lot of two knives. <laughs> but you can go check them out, get hands on. So if you're, you know, if you live in the vicinity of Corbin, Kentucky, or just passing through, or want to take a nice Sunday, you know, Saturday drive down there. Um, I hope, I think he's open on Saturday. I'll have to, I'll put a link down in the description to help you uh, decide if you're going to take a Saturday drive or not. But yeah, very very cool. Uh, I'm very happy for you, Dave, so congratulations. But let's take a look at this guy. So obviously, you've got a very nice, well done frag pattern on this titanium. Now, I have to admit, frag patterns, it's growing on me. Not my favorite. Got to be honest. Uh, it's, it's not my favorite pattern. Now, on the website, they have like three different patterns for the titanium and like i said there'll be links down there you can go check out uh the other two do say they're sold out so i'm not sure if they you know have already sold or if he's just still waiting for them to come in but as you can see there the fit and finish on this thing is done very very nicely and you know on this frag pattern these edges have been chamfered done very well it's not sharp anything like that it has just been very very well done. You do have a lanyard hole. Very nice. You do have a titanium pocket clip or a titanium backspacer, excuse me. You do have a titanium pocket clip as well. Now, you know, I've been looking at this clip. I haven't tried to swap it around yet for the simple fact that to me, it looks like it is milled into the scales to be right hand only. I could be mistaken, but it sure looks like that to me, you know. I I am under the impression that it is a single-sided pocket clip. That's where I'm at with it. But fit and finish, just very, very well done. Relief cuts here. I mean, those have been treated pretty darn well as also. Two methods of opening. You've got the thumb studs. You do have a front flipper. Now you guys know where I stand on front flippers. Um, it does protrude over the top of the knife a little bit. A little bit maybe about oh let's see here about a quarter of an inch so there you go i know there's a lot of front flipper fans out there we'll zoom out a little bit now jumping off it does jump off on those thumb studs very very nicely just snaps out there the front flipper is done pretty well you know even for me pretty darn easy to manipulate the jimping on the front flipper again it's aggressive but there again the edges have been have been done pretty well it does grab your thumb like it's supposed to which is very good but it's not too aggressive i guess is the way i want to put it but it does snap out there very very well also and guys check out that compound grind you've got a nice hollow here flat up forward nice swedge across the blade but I will show you that on the edge, it's kind of a faux compound. Because as you can see, it does not go down through your sharpened edge. So, very nice. Uh, that's, that's good for me. <laughs> that's good for me. We'll put it that way. Um, because it just makes it easier to sharpen. Makes it a lot easier to sharpen for me. I, I'll admit. So... Don't let the compound grind uh, deter you uh, from this one because, man, it is really, really nice. The action, watch this. 
it's got a drop. Yes, I let it drop on my nail. Super, super smooth. My goodness. Super smooth knife. Wow. All right. So let's go back. Let's get some specs on it. So as I see it, you're looking at just right about seven and three quarter inches. Your handle length is going to be about four and three eighths right in there, which is going to give you right about a three and a half inch handle, three and three eighths maybe. And then your sharpened edge is going to be right at that three inch mark, which is very nice. Uh, your grip length, you're looking at about three and a half. Well, you guys know, man, that is right in my wheelhouse. <laughs> so yes, yes, it is very easy to say that I'm enjoying the Wrath very much. Um, there you go. Size comparison with the PM2. And where's our bug out? Where's our bug out? There it is. Get that in there. There it is up against the bug out. So a little bit bigger than the bug out. Probably a quarter of an inch on the blade and about that on the handle too. We'll go to the pocket real quick. Now this is where with that frag pattern and that get it at an angle, it kind of goes in your pocket a little bit easier. Now with that clip you're obviously going to have a little bit it's not deep carry and it's not quite i mean it's pretty far down there but as you can see you do have a little bit sticking out of your pocket nothing too major good retention coming out is pretty easy the going into is a little kind of like what i said you know because i mean if you see there the ramp is there but it just kind of on that frag pattern you know, some of these frag pattern knives, the pocket clips are a little, little grumpy, we'll say. So overall weight, what are we looking at? 109 grams or 3.8 ounces. Very, very good weight. Very good weight on this knife. Overall, what do I think? Uh, I told you what I thought about frag pattern. That set aside... It's a very, very well done knife. This knife is very well built. Again, as always, sample size one. So always have to take that into consideration. But the ergonomics on this knife are very good. That clip really doesn't bug me. It's low profile enough that it just, I mean, it just melts into my hand, really. That three and a half grip, inch grip length you guys know that is exactly in my wheelhouse. The compound grind on the blade looks good, but like I said, it's kind of, you know, a foe, if you will. Don't let that distract you. Now, as you can see there, the transition on the, the grind, there's a little bit of your, your edge kind of widens out there. And that's, you know, the transition between the hollow. This edge... Yeah, it does that a little bit, a little bit right there at that transition point. But overall, a really, really nice knife. Now, I got to do something for you because I want to make sure I get you the right price on this guy because I know a lot of you want to know that. So that's good. It is $249. That's what they're going for. $249. Of course, my screensaver pops up. I got to relog in, but two forty nine. That's what they're selling for. Um, with everything that I've seen, you know, out there on the market, S ninety V blade steel, titanium, very, very well built. Um, yeah, it's a sweetheart, guys. I am, I am definitely digging it. Personal, personal opinion aside, this knife is a very very nice knife. Grip is great. Size for me, great. Compound grind looks fantastic. I think overall the knife looks really, really nice. And I'm very, very happy for David and his, Dave and his design. And once again, very happy for Dave opening his, his own shop, Warren Blades, in Corbin, Kentucky. Really appreciate it. This did come 
via the Apex Pass Around group. Appreciate it, Dave, getting it out to folks, uh, letting us get it in hand. Uh, for those of us that don't live near Corbin, greatly appreciate it. As always, guys, thank you so, so very much for checking out the To Your Knife Wrath with me today. Like, subscribe, leave me that comment. You know I love talking to you. Till next time, guys, I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.